I could not be more ready. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, uh, you've seen NPC before. He, he is here again. I have my special. I have my NES highlight here for good luck. He got it cheaper than I got mine. Um, oh, I guess the second time I bought it. The first time I bought it, it was a friend trade. But so I you think. bought it, you bought highlight twice. Yes. Why? It's a good question, and we'll be moving on. I bought this game twice, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, the US and, and Japanese version are different. We'll get into that. All right, so you'll see this is in Japanese. This is the Japanese version because it's safer for marathons, as Jire showed everybody last time he was here. Uh, this is a different category than what Jire ran. He also ran fixed seed, but this is any percent. So we're going to be skipping some stuff. And in the past year, uh, we have worked out quite a few details. Um, so. First input is when time starts. That's 20 seconds from now. Uh, so, so T minus 23, 22, 21, 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so it's just it's getting prepped. It's, it's getting it's, prepped for the. Yeah, it's, getting, it's, it's working hard for those frames per second. It's working hard to lay out the map because it's this is a randomizer. There are four. There are long, max int long or max long number of seeds. Here we go. All right. This is what you game here. Three to four frames per second in actuality. Um, you can count them if you don't believe me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a timer right up there. Right up there. Yeah. The timer's right there. Uh, it gets a little better in these open sections. Um, you might get up like, even five frames per second up here. Uh, so uh, you'll note I didn't open the map. That's because that takes time, and I'll be trying to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, we are a little too far north because we hit the mountains here. Um, I've been trying to work out kind of blind reckoning for where I'm trying to get to. Uh, I heard it. We're here. Uh, this is the fairy forest. Yep. Uh, it is not this one. It is this one. And those treants, those treants want to join the bees in making things difficult. All right, fairy gotten. So you're technically supposed to get that last. Uh, we get it first because the game gives us the ability to get it first. Um, all right, uh, so you'll see me strafe running. Um, classic, you can move you know, X in one direction, you can move Y in another direction, do them both. Um, it also tends to reduce collision, like physical collision. Uh, but yeah, this is a bit of a walk at the beginning. I mean, I, I scoured through four billion seeds and this is the best one I've got. So um, yeah, uh, just a bit of a walk until we find a grass patch. If you got anything quick, peace egg. Yeah, I can pull together a quick donation for you. We have a $10 donation from Sage Saria who says, Awful block hype! Okay, we are yeah, we're a little under. Right. Yeah, we're almost there. Yep. I could do one more if you have time. Yeah, go for one more. We have a $100 donation from Mojo the Jojo who says, Waking up to Awful Block is there. simply a dream come true. Oh, Greetings right from there. Austria. Yes, yes. All right, so first, first super special tech. There are herbs on the overworld. Um, just sitting here in two random locations on the overworld. I'm going to grab five, uh, and that's hopefully all we need. All right. Uh, second thing that almost nobody knows, there's elevators on the overworld. Look at that. Um, yep, two random <laughs> elevators as well. One's got a shield, one's got a sword, and guess which one we care about? It's, it's the sword. Uh, this sword, we believe, was dummied out until a, roughly a month ago. Um, it is not dummied out. It is the second best sword in the game. Um, and way better than what we would have been using otherwise. So we're not going to equip that yet. We have, that takes time. Um, instead, we're going to do a little more strafe running to try and cross a bridge that's over here. Do, 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 do. But you know, the first thing that you do in Virtual Hide Light is your, what is the first thing? You look for a crucifix. Right, you're supposed to look for a crucifix. Then you go to the vampire. Yep, and, and use the crucifix to kill him. Yep. And then you get, what was the thing? It's a, it's uh, he gives you a lamp. A lamp, and, and then you go into the truth dungeon. Yeah, the trial dungeon. Trying to, yep. And you get the lens of... The truth, yeah. And you use that to find your way into here. It, that, that's the oh, truth. oh. Right. We're skipped all that. Yeah, I got kind of going to skip in all that. Uh, oh, okay. As of a year ago, we would have gone to the graveyard for the extra stats. Um, don't need it with the sword. Uh, so this is a true only required dungeons scenario now. All right. Um, so as soon as the 20 seconds has passed and we're in here, uh, it's time to navigate through. This is the Roper dungeon, if you ever played the original. Um, Ropers were lethal. 
And they're still kind of lethal. Not as lethal, though. Uh, they sneeze, though. That's not great. Yeah, sneezing is good. All right. I'm um, going to pick up a couple things off the ground here. Uh, here's one of them. This is important. It is the Stone of Fighter. We will need that twice over. Uh, yeah, I missed the turn. With this game, how can you miss a turn? Oh, because it's going at four frames per second, and that's your input as well. So every input lasts for, for a quarter of a second. Uh, it's a little clunky. All right, great. We got the fire amulet. We can go to the volcano without dying. All right. Uh, quickly go out this secret door. Um, Speedrunners, right? All right, I'm um, going to go down here. It's out of the way, but it's faster than the alternative. Um, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab this as well if this kobold doesn't give me the business. Uh, this trank is a safety. Um, hopefully won't need it, but if we do need it, I'll be glad I have it. <laughs> um, all right, and now we just kind of need to get out of this dungeon. Can I break in here real quick with an announcement? Please do. That tuxedo incentive I've been talking about for Pseudo Regalia has been met. Woo! We're going to get to see tuxedos. Tuxedos, yeah. And that I'm just going to read real quick. The thing that put us over there is a $1,000 donation from 14 liters of bees, Tuxedo Go. I got a little caught up on that roper tile, um, but we are free and easy now. Uh, ow. Throwing rocks at me. All right, yeah. let's get out of here. Uh, note that there's a wall in the background. Yeah, the background is like, <laughs> there's not a wall there. <laughs> yeah. With the truth lens, you would see that there was no wall there, but yeah. But when we, if we turned around, it would just be a wall. Yeah. Backgrounds, love them. Skybox in this game is, is special. Um, all right, and so now we're going to go, we're going to go south for a bit, and then we're going to go, um, we're going to go south, and then we're going to go whatever direction is east. Yes, we're going to go south, then we're going to go east, and then we're going to go enter a volcano. So if you got any more donations, not a bad time. Oh, I absolutely have a bunch of donations for you. We have $25 from Dre slash Ard. Oh, hey. Good luck, Mecca. Yeah, uh, those are two friends from back home who are, despite having a child, got up even earlier <laughs> to watch this. So <laughs> thanks them. We also have a few donations regarding the whole frame rate thing that we're uh, talking about Of course. About I mean, here. the frame rate is what it is. I'm not, like, I'm a virtual highlight defender, but I'm not, like, blind. <laughs> I mean, neither am I. We have $100 from Fleebit, who says, $1 for all known permutations of frame in virtual highlight. <laughs> we also have $50 from Lady of the Kit Fox, who says, Ah, oh, yes, virtual highlight. Here's a dollar, 10 cent. One cent for each frame perfect trick that needs to be performed during that run. Uh, I, I would, there are a number of things in this game that are frame perfect, but thankfully we have very <laughs> large frames. Uh, <laughs> a lot of the movement is honestly pretty frame perfect. It's just we have a lot of frames. All right, so volcano. I should probably put on that flame amulet. Yes, please do. <laughs> um, and this is the so the thunder sword, um, the item we thought was dummied out. It has a power of 40 on the light, 70 on the heavy, heavy, and 70 on the projectile. That's right, this sword has a projectile. Wow, look at look at all of these frames. Oh, all of these frames, yes. This is where the frame rate gets the worst. Um, and that's great, because it's going to help us clip through this wall here, hopefully. See if we can get it first try, or if I'm going to have to come back at it. I come back at it quite a bit. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's 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 very close. Uh, it, there, there we go. go. Yay! Yeah, it clipped right through that wall. Avoided a good section of the. Um, yeah. You'll see the. the yeah. You'll almost yeah. certainly see this map in a second as I get slightly lost, um, or I walk past something. But um, okay. Yep. No, nope, that qualifies. Yeah. All right. That's where we got stuck. All right. It's fine. But yeah, we, that entire oh. southern section, we didn't have to worry about it. Uh, this is not my favorite amount of health. Uh, you'll note that I can turn in the menus. Uh, that runs at a much higher frame rate. I've heard legends of 50 FPS, but I've never counted. It's too hard to count those FPS. These I can count. But uh, I don't know that I can count all the way up to 50. Uh, I think that's the right, yep. So yeah, um, because this place has such a low FPS, it is easy to run past things. All right, this should get me where I want to go. Yeah. All right, it's hot, it's hot. Uh, 
I have enough HP for this. All right, yeah. we're gonna take off the fire amulet. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna put on that stone of fighter that I mentioned. Okay, my heart's gonna slowly start to drain, but it's okay. Because we're just gonna burn this guy down from range. The Thunder Sword, which we thought was dummied out, has a projectile that, when boosted with the sword of fighter, um, can actually just hit all three of them. Uh, it is a piercing projectile. You can't fire another until the last one's gone. Um, and usually you have to, otherwise you have to wait for this guy to come up here. Oh my God. If yeah, we, I've never seen it this close before. Yeah. Buddy, he's, I don't have a shield. If you fire at me, I'll die. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, there we go. go. I never seen it quite go off to the side, but like, yeah. I know I know it can do that because like it does that normally. Yeah. But that's the dragon dead faster than usual, um, and safer than usual because I don't need the shield. All right, so congratulations. We didn't need that flame, flame amulet after all. Um, well, at least not here. You do need it for the you know. Uh, this is a flute dropping from the sky. It looks like an amulet. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, guess I did need that flame amulet. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a few seconds, and then eventually it's gonna catch up and go, I'm dead. That's fine. Uh, this is an intended death warp because walking out of the volcano sucks. Uh, <laughs> it's just as bad on the way in as it is on the way out. Uh, this is a fighting game screen, I don't know why. Uh, you, you, you got your quarters, right? Uh, yeah, no, um, don't know where to put them. Like, we've got a, a memory card slot, but not really uh, anything else. Mm. All right. Um, and then once it loads back in, we'll be heading off to the next dungeon. Uh, this is where the seed manipulation or the seed search really came in. The next dungeon is a whole five tiles away, and the final dungeon is three tiles from that. Um, so that's pretty much the minimum distance. Um, yeah, that was part of the big seed hunt. The other half being finding a thunder sword that was on the way. Um, yep. And not a bad time for donations now. We're going into a fairly long dungeon. Um, which is going to look pretty gray and, and, and brown. Yeah, you got it. I've got plenty of donations for you. I have $50 from Ally who says, Hooray for Virtual Hydlide! Greetings from sunny Thailand. Thank you for that donation. We also have $5 from Nick who says, Just woke up and the TV is still on. I have no idea what's happening, but it sounds like it's time for a $5 donation train. Choo-choo! And let me give you extra incentive out there in chat and in the audience. We are less than 5,000 away from 800K. Let's go, Love to meet 800K. I think with this place, we should have a choo-choo trolley of $5. <laughs> uh, but we do have a mine cart. Mine uh, cart. When you see the mine cart, donate your $5. Um, $5 mine cart train? I'm in. I can, I can get that mine cart started. All right, welcome to um, the mines slash the sealed dungeon, whatever they want to call it. Um, it's a big rectilinear, it's five floors of rectilinear goodness, uh, which is to say it's pretty boring, honestly, uh, except that I need to, again, kind of maximize my movement and not get eaten by that mimic. You might have seen the teeth flash there. Uh, this first floor has mimics, and they are exceptionally lethal. But we're through that. Nice. Right. Um, you've got a bunch of perlers here, NBC. Do you want to talk about those while we are running through this this place? Yeah, my um, sister, who loves me dearly, um, likes making me perlers. And so she's like, oh, give me a game. And me being the uh, Kuso gamer that I am, I sent her a bunch of sprites for Hydline. And so as you can see, we have uh, the nice Jim Perlers. That's right, this character's name is Jim, the most heroic name of uh, knights. And then we have our three fairies here that we have to collect. Then we have this nice little chest. And then we have two random enemies that you fight in the game. And then you have the final castle in Varalis. That's right. And here's the minecart. You can only go in it if you're five kilograms or less, so uh, it's very svelte. But this five kilograms, five dollars. Five kilograms. It's it's a must be. Um, yeah, they just didn't implement that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a sign that says five kilograms max. And uh, yeah, there's a weight system in this game. So like, I really just don't know where they're gonna go. Like, I, I'm only wearing like six kilograms right now, and I'm barely equipped. Don't even have a shield. All right. 
a lot of these. So, you, so yeah, since he doesn't have any armor, these are really every hit hits him like a truck. So. Yeah, it's not great. Um, but those are the sacrifices we make for speed. Uh, the fairy armor, the best armor, uh, which Dyer did get when uh, he was last here, uh, is very out of the way, uh, unfortunately. I double-checked the ruins last night. Um, there's just no plate armors on the way either. It's just kind of like no armor. And so we're just going to do without. It's fine. <clears throat> That's why I picked up those herbs. <laughs> <laughs> These herbs are here for a reason. Well, the thing is that we don't want to go to the shop because it's out of the way. Come on. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm the poisoned. Po yeah, that's yep. the poison gas. So now he is poisoned until he can find a spring nearby. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, this. thankfully on floor four, this is fine. There's a spring that's basically on the way. Um, I did not pick up an antidote. There was an antidote there. No, there, that was a poison. Like, That's there's actually poison. not an antidote there. Talk. All right. The run button is also the interact button. Not great. Uh, <laughs> they have eight buttons here, and they, they, they made run the interact button. All right. Final floor. Uh, you can swing a donation real quick, and then we'll have to talk about the mage. Absolutely. I have $40 from RetroGamerJE who says, So glad to see this legendary game run here. A favorite of me and all my friends in the early days of the Saturn. Still love it today. Speed wobble your way to victory. Love what AGDQ is doing for charity and the speedrunning community. All right. Uh, I, yeah, well, I, went in the wrong, I went in the wrong one, but it's fine. We can loop back. Uh, so the mage, uh, every single boss in this game that we're going to fight I th actually, every single boss in the game uh, has periods of time where it's invulnerable. Really? Uh, are we doing this today? Yes, we're doing this. We're doing, we are doing this we're, today. All right. We're doing the, poison in that case, easy. I'm going to need to make a safety save. Um, thankfully, saving is fast. All right. We're going to fight this boss poisoned. It's fine. It's it's kind of fine, I guess. <laughs> well, you <laughs> Not it, ideal. It was at the very beginning of this fight, so thankfully yeah. there's that. Yeah. But, yeah. All right, so it's a damage race. Um, this guy hovers around. Sometimes he'll set down to attack you, and that's when you can attack him. Um, we have found that it is easier to induce him to set down if you get in his box and attack him. Uh, take that. Um, so you'll see me attempting to induce that to some degree. It can be inconsistent. It can fake sit down. Yeah, that's usually a good sit down. When you see that, when you see him jump sideways in the air like that, that's usually a, a sit down. Come on, I need you to sit down more. <laughs> Come on down. Come on down. Uh, he's getting into the geography, and that's bad. Come on. Come on. You can do set this. down. You can do this, mage. Come on. If you set down, I can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great incentive. Oh, oh good on. hit. One more. One more good good hit. hit. I need you to set down quickly again. Oh, come on. <sighs> really? Yep. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's technically it's, fine. It's fine because we, remember those three seconds during the death warp where I was waiting? You can heal yourself during those three seconds. And uh, so I did. All right. One herb down. But close. Close to getting him with poison. It's not easy. All right. All right, fairy, we're out of here. We're going to use the fairy tears to get out of here quickly because that was a long dungeon. Walking it out sucks, and trying to convince the enemies to kill you is harder than you think. Uh, sometimes they'll just walk away. They'll get like they'll get in two good hits, and you'll stand there, and then they'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm going off this way now. So can make death warping a pain. That's why we uh, almost always want the fairy tears. Um, quick donation here. Uh, we're going to the last... Um, the last real dungeon. Okay, I've got a couple of donations here, but I'll read the biggest one here. We got $50 from Fuzzy, because the donation train for the minecarts 
is rolling in. Five times ten. Choo choo. Greetings from Tucson. All right. Uh, um, and this is the hidden castle, the uh, second to last area, the last true dungeon, because the last thing is just a boss rush. Um, this is going to be the easiest teleporter mage you've ever seen. It's embarrassingly yeah. easy. Um, so we've got time for another donation or two while we do it. Yeah, um, um, like I wanted to tell you it's teleporter maze, but it's not hard. Let's go through that uh, minecart train that we start up, the $5 minecart train. We have $5 from Shark Sucker who says, $5 for that silky smooth 5 FPS. Mm -hmm. We have $5 from JJ Wildheart who says, $5 minecart train. And we have five dollars from Minecart Choo Choo, who says Choo Choo. All right. Woohoo! Time for more donations. Ah, uh, sure. We have twenty-five dollars from Zofar, who says greetings from the domain. You can do it, Mecca. Yeah. Thank you, Zofar. Uh, Zofar and I have been trading world record in this category um, over the last year. Uh, Author Blues kind of got me into trying the game, and. Yeah, it's been quite a year. All right, welcome to the Power Core. There's another sword I have to get here. Uh, and that was the platform I would have liked to have catch first time. It's fine if we don't. I don't usually. All right, uh, and that is a lot of enemies that have decided to crowd this ledge. Um, a lot of, and there's panic. Oh no. This is why we picked up the trank. Let's see if we can. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> we picked up the trank and it paid off. All right. It's a mimic. Yeah, the, mim the mimics not only do high damage and look like trap chests, but they can put you under a status effect where you can no longer control yourself. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a very demoralizing status effect. All right. Usually the enemies will clear out after that. See, now we've only got the skeleton here. We need to go to the north now, uh, which is... Pretty easy. See, that's the one we want to be on, and it's right there. All right. Uh, oh, look. Why are oh, they camping? I don't know. Skeleton spawn campers. Um, don't love it. All right. Uh, that's another mimic for sure. Um, that's a poison potion. Uh, don't drink that. All right. Second level of the power core. There's nothing we need to get here. We just need to get the exit. Um, thankfully, the... The doorway to the to the sliding block puzzle is right here. All right. You will get me onto this, and then I will switch. No, I want to get onto this one when it comes back this way. And there we go. All right. All right. More skeleton spawn camping. Ow. Mimic. Mm. I knew that was a mimic. Skeletons. Calm down, my friends. I know that's the one in the middle is not a mimic, but the other one was. All right. This, this is scaring me. <laughs> it is scary. Um, I don't like having this little health, but, like, we can deal. All right. So now uh, we haven't, you notice we haven't swum. We haven't gone to any of the rivers. If you know the original Hydlide, there is an enemy in the rivers. Lots of experience and lots of pain. And they've made it the boss this time. This is the eel. So first I'm going to put on that new sword because uh, this eel is electric and electric damage doesn't do anything. So that thunder sword is garbage. Now. Yeep. All right. I'm going to take this a little slow um, because as I noticed, as I said, health's not very high. And oh, ow. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, right, like we skipped, some, we skipped a level, right? Like now we're back where we would be without that level. Right, like in the previous route. So we're just 10 defense and 10 attack and, and 50 HP lower than we would be otherwise. So these hits are not going great. In theory, all three balls can hit, um, but it depends on your range. It depends on a lot of things. See, there we go. Those are some good hits. Yeah. And double KOs do favor us here. So I am willing to play aggressive. I th I'm going to play aggressive with this one almost certainly. Just give me a chance, buddy. There we go. Uh. All right. Didn't even have to risk it. All right. 
All right, so this was the beginning of a boss rush. Um, this is in the same dungeon as the rest of them, but it is. Um, all right, and so, yep, this is the third fairy um, because we picked up them. Uh, these three fairies were the princess, and now they are the way to get to the final castle. Yeah. Um, uh, that is, like, this is a remake of the original Hydlide, so these story elements are actually, you know, the same-ish. Um, you didn't need the fairies to get there in original Hydlide, but, yep, they are going to take us to the castle of Verilis, where we're going to fight a boss you've never seen, a boss you have seen, and the final boss. Uh, so we skipped the first boss here, the vampire. Um, if you go through the Vite, you kill him and he flies away. He flies away to here. Um, all right, so we're going to need some good RNG here. Um, I'd like to preserve all of my health for Verilis if possible, um, but it's not likely. Uh, this is select your second player backwards from the golf game that this engine came from. Ow. Good crit. Come on. That hold him nice. still, and we're done. All right. So Ooh. look for the, the all the walls breathe except for the ones that are going to disappear on you. So uh, just look for the non-breathing wall. And if you didn't see that before, you'll you see it now. Um, so this wall is going to disappear on me, and I'm going to proceed into a nice fleshy pink corridor. And... Oh, we've seen this boss before, but he's got skeleton friends that he can revive. So first the skeletons, because they can paralyze you. Skeletons, skeleton, Whoa. do not dare. Dang it. You paralyze me and I will lose it. All right, this is the same, basically the same mate as before, but he actually has a less lethal attack. Um, so pretty much the same deal. Uh, if you got any final donations you want to read out, because after this, we're going to be in the Verilis fight. Absolutely. I've got a couple donations here. I've got a $15 donation from House 932 who says, one nice thing about waking oh, up early great. is waking up to virtual Hydlide, which makes absolutely certain I will continue to be awake. <laughs> you see here, like, I actually am inducing him to sit down over and over and over again, right? Like, that's, that is not something you would see normally, but it is something we're inducing here. Um, and it makes the fight much easier. And... Um, all right. All right. Evo Mage down. We've got half health and four herbs. So we've got a virtual 800. I've got a virtual 1,050 health. That's more than enough to beat Verilis if everything falls our way. Um, it's like don't tempt fate. Don't have fate. Uh, all right. It's very possible this is a world record run because this has been so far a flawless... Um, execution of a seed that we have at least, we believe has at least three minutes on world record. Uh, so it's very possible this is going to be world record. We'll find out after we kill Verilis. He sits here, groans lowly. I think if you speed it up, it sounds like human speech, so I think it's just human speech slowed down. All right, we take a step back and we begin the barrage. We would like to get in six blasts here that aren't crits, and then we want to start throwing in the crits. Beautiful. All right, that was great. Great. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful time. That was beautiful. Time. Oh, wow. Yeah, the crit saved me Holy. from that rapid fire. That is the, one of the that. best barrelesses you can get. Holy. Holy wow. Um, oh, you do not know how <laughs> lucky that is. That is that is very lucky. He can teleport anywhere in the arena. Um, that red, though, when he had the red balls in his hands, those that was a rapid fire attack that I can't block because I skipped a shield. Um, what is the time? Uh, so I'm sure the timer was off a little bit here, a little especially bit. with how quick that ended, but I have 27 minutes and 11 seconds. That is the world record for sure. Congratulations. Um, world record was 30.48 by so far. Um, and this is, this is the culmination of two months of seed hunting and finding that sword and getting help a perfect from people Varalis fight. and getting a great Varalis fight. No, like I had four herbs I didn't need and you saw me go through those herbs yes. in previous practices too. Ooh, yeah. But yep, here's where all the, mo that, like, all the money went towards renting that dress and uh, the mocap here. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that is virtual highlight. Um, again, right, like, Jire did this a few years ago, and he did 100% pretty much, so you got to see everything. Here, you got to see only the necessary parts, um, pretty much. And yeah, um, you know, if it weren't for the frame rate, this game would be great, 
I mean, it will certainly be playable. It's, it's, it's the most playable of all the highlights, and I have played. That's the very defensible. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. Like, it's it's the most playable of all the highlights, even with the frame rate problems. But that frame rate is. Don't. Here, I'm going to provide you a, ga a game design or game development tip. Don't design action games in Golf Engines. Um, <laughs> they are two different cases you optimize for. One for Golf Engine stuff, where your, your, your shots are long and slow and pans and like not a lot of stuff is moving. Action games, where a bunch of things move at the same time. <laughs> uh, but this, this is, that was Virtual Hide Lied. Um, no unintentional deaths, one intentional death. Uh, since it's Japanese, they will penalize me for the unintentional death anyway. Congratulations, period. Just, <laughs> just congratulations. Just congratulations. All right, um, so a few shout outs. Uh, AGDQ for accepting this. Um, you fire this off every year and you never know. Um, uh, personal note, uh, my mom had uh, her first bout with cancer this last year and is through it for now. Um, so shout out to my mother who might be watching. Um, look, I killed two, 23 monsters since that since I died. In this, <laughs> uh, shout out to Zophar I mentioned before. Um, he has been my rival in this, um, and now that he's seen this new seed, he can start to fight back. Um, uh, Auth for introducing me to the game, uh, and Seer Sky for doing the Rust simulation that allowed me to start to chew through the four billion seeds. Um, Seer Sky got it managed to take the disassembly and turn it into a Rust program that could generate the world map. Um, and then uh, for seed help, uh, Vel and Elevated both did some work on helping me parse through all of the seeds that I winnowed down to. I winnowed down to 380 and then had to start working through them. Um, and Arwen and six question marks as well for, for that, um, for at least trying. Um, NPC, of course, for stepping up on comms. Uh, NPC's been covering for Author Blues for because <laughs> Author Blues is unfortunately those not are here. big shoes to fill. Those, those are big shoes, big clown shoes though, so it's fine. And uh, yep, that was Virtual Highlight. I'm Mechalink. Um, I stream on Mechalink. You can find me on Discord as Mechalonk because Discord is a jerk. <laughs> and that is the end of Awful Blog. Uh, onward with AGDQ.